a new chilling scares video eight most disturbing things caught on dash cam footage volume five most disturbing This dash cam video was captured on a freeway in Glendale, California. It shows a Tesla abruptly slamming on its brakes as the driver gets out. The man is wielding some kind of lead pipe. He approaches the car with the dash Damn! cam and immediately starts slamming the window. For what? Bro slammed on his brake. No shot, he's hitting the truck. Boy, he just gets back. Somehow the window doesn't shatter. Was he which just the man simply gets back in his car and continues driving? <laughs> Later down the road, he was captured he on a dash cam attacking another car. The car <laughs> what the fuck? What? Why is he mad at everyone, bro? Look, he took the next exit and was like, "Oh, fuck this, fuck this dude in the truck too." Yeah, bro thinks he's in GTA. Damn. Car shown speeding away from the attacker. <laughs> The incident was reported to police, but the Tesla didn't doing? have any license plates, so they were unable to locate it. Over the next few days, police received multiple more calls reporting similar experiences. One of these was also caught on dash cam. Bro, what? Multiple dash cam footages of this Tesla? What? No, he thinks this is GTA. This is crazy. What? Nah, he definitely got the he definitely got the she busy right now, bro. Text. He's on a crazy demon arc. Why is he smashing up everyone's cars? How's he getting away with this though? After a few more days, police were finally able to locate the man. He was 36 yeah. year old Nathaniel Radamac, who already had a lengthy criminal record with active warrants out for his arrest. Why is he so mad? Among the recent random road rage incidents, throughout earlier years, he also took part in serious criminal threats and stalking in a total of eight different states across the country. Stalking? The reasoning behind the highway attacks was never made clear. Currently, Nathaniel- <laughs> He's like wearing the same shirt in all of them. I don't know why he's wearing a mask in this one. He whooped some someone else's car in the same damn- <laughs> ...kept in jail on a bail set at over $5 million. Oh! Oh, he ain't getting out. He ain't getting out. Damn. This dash cam footage was taken on January 25th, 2021, the middle of winter. Damn. Snow is on the ground as this car drives along a canyon in Utah. Ooh. I was about to say, is that Utah? Nah, you gotta be careful with the ice, bro. As the car approaches a section of road with no guardrails, a pickup on the other side of the road loses control due to the icy conditions. Ooh! Dude, that off that, off these, just in Utah in general, cliff, donezo. ...into an oncoming Subaru. The two vehicles drop down the left. <gasps> all Yo! The dash cam. Oh. Yo! No, no. Everyone inside both vehicles would make it out alive, most only receiving minor injuries. Four out of the five people involved... Hey, how much you want to bet the, the dude in the truck follows me? <laughs> he was probably speeding down that road or something. What happened? He was, like, sliding, right? What? He just, like, randomly lost control. No, I'm just playing. Bro's watching stream right now. He's like, that was me. Bro, that's crazy. Hey, at least they're both all right. Because usually, Everyone inside those are... Everyone vehicles would make it out alive. Most only receiving minor injuries. Four out of the five people involved were able to get out of their vehicles on their own. However, a woman in the pickup had been trapped due to the way the vehicle had dented from impacting the bottom of the ravine. No. The fire crews arrived minutes later and were able to free her. That's scary in the, the snow, too. was closed for several hours for recovery operations. Yo. Two tow trucks were needed to get each vehicle. That's scary. Because those are usually steep as hell this and they just keep going down. 2021. The dash cam footage shows Michael Shackleford driving a San Antonio road after leaving his bank for work. As he's driving, a car passes him with one of the back doors open and a woman yelling for help. Reading the situation, Michael diverts from his original route and begins following the car she while simultaneously calling the police. Oh, 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 oh. Follow him, follow him. Dude, I, I'm, I'm buying the dash cam after stream ends, bro. Like, you never know what's gonna happen. Clearly, this is volume five of these crazy ass videos. All these are always crazy. <laughs> I'm buying a dash cam, bro. That said, Utah. 
I, That's I'm on, scary. ASAP. Keep up, keep I'm up. On, I'm on 410 South. My oh, he's hauling ass. Well, a lady is screaming outside her, her Ford, a gray Ford exiting Ingram Road right now. She's trying to get out of a vehicle and the guy won't let, no, she's not exiting. They got back on 410. No way. I don't know. It says 410 South from Ingram going towards uh, like Marbach area. After a few minutes on the highway, the car finally takes an exit. Now at slower speeds, the woman in the back seat sees an opportunity and exits the moving vehicle. Military Who's drive. Exit by the academy now. No way he like caught this, right? Military drive. We're in the Like were they trying road. to take her? She's screaming and kicking in the car. He's erratically She's trying to get out of the car. She's opening the door. She's trying to jump Yo, out. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. He, he sped up and he couldn't get out. She jumped out. She jumped out! She jumped out! She no way! Oh, who do you- Get in my truck! Oh, follow the dude! Truck. Yeah, 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 yeah! I'm going to the police station right now! I was gonna say, do you follow him, or? The one on Calabra, yeah! The two see a police officer and flag him down. Clutch! They retreated to a nearby parking lot where a medical crew arrived. The woman was brought to a hospital as a precaution, but ultimately was determined that she only suffered minor injuries. Good. The woman had been taken against her will by her own husband, who refused to let her go. She had to no resort shot. to yelling out to nearby drivers for help. The husband was later found by police and arrested. Good. Fuck that guy. This happened on a highway in Massachusetts. Driving is a man named Jeffrey Code. As he's listening to the radio and making his way down the road, a large slab of ice suddenly oh! gets his launch from the car in front of him and flies into the air. <gasps> The slab Damn! Oh, it field, shattered really it. Shattering it. Okay, so noted. Not driving behind people when they have a pile of snow in their car. Definitely noted. Have never thought of this. Oosh! That's crazy. That's like, that could kill someone, bro. Like, it shattered. I can't even see anything. I don't... Now completely unable to see, Jeffrey slowly pulls to the side of the road, blindly crossing two lanes as he does so. I mean... He's unheard. It's... As fortunately, the slab hadn't completely broken through the windshield. You could have been hurt. Like, is that the other person's fault if that happens? Instead, leaving cracks across the entire thing. It also damaged a side mirror and the windshield wipers. You would get hurt from that shit. Jeffrey admits that he likely could have avoided the slab of ice had he slammed on the brakes. But then you're risking I don't know that and getting hit by other cars. Yeah. Like the one right beside him, which kept him from swerving into a different lane. In July 2022, a small plane in San Diego had lost power mid-flight. The plane wasn't close enough to an airport, and this information was given to air traffic control. The two no. men inside the plane were instructed to perform an emergency landing on the nearest road. The cameras on this Tesla show exactly that from multiple different angles. On the intersection? No shot. So clutch, bro. Oh. The plane strikes a sign. Yo. Down. It was forced to continue w pilot. towards a second Damn. Engine, where it hits an SUV. Oh, it hit the someone? lost a wing and it began leaking gas all over the road. The two inside of the SUV and the two inside of the plane were taken to the hospital. All of them suffered only minor injuries, though. Authorities actually commended Dude, the pilot for the landing. These people are lucky. He managed to keep the plane on the road, doing minimal damage considering the circumstances. That's scary. Had he lost control, or even had the light to the first intersection been green, the entire situation easily could have Dude, resulted in the Nah, worse. oh, that would have been so bad. Crazy April lucky. 2nd, 2015. Crazy lucky, but obviously skilled pilot too. Paul Yearly was driving on the highway to his work in his Ford Mustang when he suddenly started feeling nauseous. He started getting tunnel vision, and he realized something was off, so he turned Yo, pull off his over, cruise over, Pull over, pull over, homie, pull over. That's when he recalls everything going black, and he passes uh -huh. out while driving, his foot coming Yo, to rest pull on over. the gas pedal, pushing it to the No, floor. not the sting! Oh, oh, it's gone. He's crashing. Oh, 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 don't hit it, don't hit, oh, oh, I missed it. Oh, don't hit it, please. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay. Oh, the warranty. 
Oh, it's still going. Oh, hold me, stop. Bro, bro, bro wake up, wake up. Power line pole that could have ended his life and continues driving unconscious into a field. He's then steered back towards the highway, but luckily is unable to clear the hill. Is he, he good? He's driving back towards the fence. He finally comes to, putting his hands back on the steering wheel and pressing the brakes. Uh, low blood sugar? What? Yo, we again? Damn. This was the first and only time Paul had ever blacked out. He like accepted that last one. Passing cars noticed him in the field and stopped to help him and call the police. He was like, "Ah, oh, fuck he was it." Taken to the ER. <laughs> What Multiple happened? Performed to determine what caused the sudden loss of consciousness. The main cause turned out to be a hereditary low blood pressure condition. Paul was treated and was able to make a full recovery. That's scary. Oh my god. Dude, this that's like, oh, you, no, that's like literally lagging in real life. That's having your controller disconnected. <laughs> you just disconnect. If you don't address it immediately, you just disconnect. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Homie is just driving and then Cam footage was captured on June 25th, That's scary. 2020. It happened in Waverly, Kansas, during one of the state's summer storms. The car was trailing a Jeep Grand Cherokee as they were approaching an intersection. Right as it starts to slow down, lightning suddenly strikes the car. Holy sh... No way. Damn! Bro got smited. That... Cherokee got smited. Why did that directly Four hit the car? Hit the vehicle in quick succession. Right after, all of the lights in the car turn off as the electrical system had failed. Bro got EMP'd. A hole was left in the door handle, and the tires to the car were blown out from the electricity traveling oh. through them to get to the ground. Inside the car was a family of five. None of them suffered any injuries. Many cars nowadays come they were with safety fine? features that shockproof the inside of the vehicle. Dude, that's crazy. It just it just fully deep fried the car. Doesn't work anymore. That kind of sucks. was driving to West Hamlin, West Virginia on Route 10, a road surrounded by forest on both sides. As he was making a turn, he noticed a large tree in front of him start falling. Oh! He had Yo, brakes, brakes! Oh! It, forcing them to fall on top of him. Oh! oh! Yo! Oh, these are so bad, dude. Oh, probably just scratches, I think. Is he good? Yo. Oh, the whip, the whip, homie. Oh. Power lines along the road That's managed to stay up, allowing Ronald to back up from out of the trees. That's crazy. The days leading up to this video, the area had received much more rain than was usual, which is likely what caused the trees to fall. Too Damn, much rain homie? can over flood the soil holding the roots in place, leaving them with much less of a hold. In these conditions, the trees have an almost domino-like effect. By only a few seconds, yeah. Ronald Dude, managed to make it literally, out with his truck literally, damage. right there. That could have hit <laughs> right on top of his car, seconds away. That's nuts, bro. Chilling scares, always with the bangers. Shout out, homie, for that W video, baby. That was a good ass video. Alrighty, that is going to be a wrap for the video. If you did enjoy, slap that like button in the ass for me. Go drop a sub, chilling scares for making the W videos. Until next time, peace out, baby.